Salty Zeta here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Kirby Canvas Curse. In the last episode, we did Wander the Lane, which is the last major world. We did every single color of the rainbow now. So it's time for the world of Drossia. Which only has one stage. The world of Drossia. I've always loved the atmosphere of this place. After the entire game, it's just really, really cool to get this to this place. It's extremely unsettling, and I like it a lot. And there is a metal here, so might as well get it, I suppose. It's not exactly difficult. I also like these guys. They don't really do anything to you, although you can tap them and make them fall. That's about it. It's kind of cool how they're like just creepy versions of the goal ring, essentially. Also, you can fall down here for a max and tomato if you really need it. Alright, Kirby. Yep. Yeah. I think you might actually get a medal right here if you kill all the portraits, thinking about it. Because it did say there were two medals on this level. Oh well. Anyways. Here we go. Hey there, Drossia. Now, the funny thing about Drossia Sorceress here, she took me, like, li no joke. This game came out in 2005. I think I first beat this game in 2009 because I didn't realize that you had to do that. Because normally you tap her and she has a shield around her. So you can't tap her like you do most other enemies. And... Little old me could not figure out for the life of me how you actually were supposed to hit her. But instead, you just, you reflect her shots back at her. And eventually I figured that out and was like, how stupid was I to not realize that? But, yep. Now I got to kill these enemies. These sickly Bronto Burts. You want to get good with me You want to get good at like moving in a way so that you will be able to react to whatever she does cuz she's very pattern based she telegraphs all of her attacks, it's just a matter of knowing what exactly is gonna do what. Dee -dee 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 -dee. So like when she does that, she'll either go to the left and then stay there, or the other side of Gion and stay there, or, or she'll go straight up, and if she goes straight up off screen, then you want to be in the center, in the middle, in the air, because otherwise she's going to cra come crashing into you. I'll, sh I'll show you if she does it again. Doo -doo 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 -doo. She's doing a lot of paintings this time, huh? Interesting. Oh, well, the bombs are the easiest one. Ow. I say, and that's the only one I get hit by. Okay, see, she went straight up, so now you want to just go into the center in the middle, because she's going to do that. Ah! Power! Alright. 
This should kill her though. Yeah! We done! Ooh, but what's this? Drossy is not finished yet. We've killed the sorceress! But we haven't killed her spirit. And her spirit is a giant glob of paint. Meet Drossia's soul. The first... Is she the first, like, actual proper soul boss in the Kirby series? I'm not sure. Either way, you want to tap these things into her. Get out of the way when she comes crawling in. She's on I honestly find her easier than the Sorceress. Alright. When she does this, I like to do... Just try and protect myself with it, like this. The battle that involves a lot of waiting around. It's mainly reaction and avoiding, avoiding than anything else. If you let those guys, these guys live long enough, they do stuff like this. It's not pleasant. Also, also, sending those things into her is not the only way you can hurt her, she just doesn't seem to want to do the other attacks, in which case you can hurt her. Here we go. There we go. That usually does a little bit more damage. Ah, wow, doing this again? Cool. Ow. Didn't draw fast enough. Huh? I usually just like to do that when she's a fireball, because it's... It usually works. Smash. I don't know. It's a cool boss, though. I like that Canvas Curse does at least have one, like, legitimate boss fight, considering everything else is just minigames. I kind of wish it had more boss fights. I'm surprised I got all five of those. Oh, 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 oh. Can't tap her when she's let when she's showing you her butt. I don't know what else to call that. It's just oh god, that's a fireball in my face. I think the direction that she co that she goes to and comes from actually does have an impact on how high she is. I'm not sure. I've never actually paid close attention to that. Usually I just try and go as high as I can. You got good aim there, Drossy. Let's see. It. No, I guess it is, because that's a little bit lower than the uh, w one time she came from the other side. Interesting. Okay, well, she's almost dead. We're almost done here. Bam! Bam! You don't mess with Kirby, Drossia. And there she goes, back into her painting of death. We saved the world! Huzzah! And what now? The witch's true form was an unknown painting. Over time, the painting transformed and Drossia sprung forth. She wished for a world all of paint. How nice of her. 
But Dracia didn't count on Kirby entering her realm. Nor did she anticipate you getting the magical paintbrush. You mean DS stylus? Not that magical. The magical paintbrush wanted to return life to normal. I'm surprised it's called the magical paintbrush and not the power paintbrush, considering that's, you know, the, the, the game's pal name. It appeared before you and Kirby and drew a portal. Send, Kirby parted from the paintbrush and went in. Done with its mission, the paintbrush vanished into light. Ah, oh, so it was the light ability all along. I guess it did have some use after all. Kirby awoke in Dreamland. The land, the sky, and Kirby were all normal. Even though they don't look it in this art style. And a time of peace once again visited Dreamland. Just then, a grand rainbow appeared. Kirby was transported into the past. A gift from the paintbrush? No, it's just what happens when Kirby goes zooming across the sky with the rainbow sword in his hand. And also butterflies. The end. Yay! Okay, so... Kirby Campus Curious is a weird game. <laughs> Only those death credits. You can tap these portraits to make them fall over, but I honestly don't care about that right now. So I'm not going to. Instead, I'm putting the DS down. Kirby Campus Curious is a weird game. I don't know how to feel about it. Like, on the one hand, it's got fine levels, and the concept is fine enough, and I feel like it can be very enjoyable at times. But other times I just feel like some of the levels get a little bit too repetitive or drag on a little bit too much, and when you go for 100% in this game, oh my god, it's... Let me just detail you exactly what you need to do in order to get 100% in this game. Aside from beating the game, like I just did, you also have to get all the medals in every level, which includes all the backtracking medals that you need to hit the random switches for. There's also a switch I skipped in Frozen Fantasy, I'm pretty certain, that I just completely skipped it because I neglected to explore. Um, so you need to get all that, you need to backtrack, so that's already poten potentially just playing every single level once and potentially twice, implying you get all the medals you can on your first try. So that's a minimum of two times. Next! Beating... Beating the game, I believe, gets you the ability to unlock new characters. You can play as a Waddle Dee, a Waddle Doo, a Mennonite, and a King Dedede Ball. King Dedede has a permanent hammer, Mennonite has a permanent sword, Waddle Doo has a permanent beam ability. Waddle Dee gets nothing. They all have different lives, they have different weights, they have different sizes. Nate Bildorf was just on screen. And you have to play through the entire game over again with all four of those characters. So that's, in addition to the initial two play two playthroughs to get all the medals and the Kirby levels, you have to do the game four more times, which is then... Basic math. Six times! So you're playing every single stage six times, minimum, to get 100%. And then, there are the Line and Time Trials, which again, take different p places of every single level. And you need, to, you need to do them fast enough with, or with enough line meter left over in order to get three medals on each of those missions. And there's one for every single stage. Every single one. Which means that if you get them all on your first try, in addition to the six main playthroughs, you have to do every other stage a portion of it two more times for a total of eight playthroughs of every stage and that's assuming you can do them on your first try <sighs> so you play through every single stage eight times minimum <laughs> and then in addition to that there you go see waddle d ball in addition to that here, let me show you my completed file. 
The one that has 100% in it. There's also... The sub-games. The boss mini-games that you can do. You need to beat them, level 3, with an A rank, because you get ranked at the end of it. So it's like... So it's like, you just, you, for block attack, you just kind of do it. Block attack's by far the easiest one. Cart, cart race, you need to just do super well and get a lot of points. Paint panic! <laughs> Paint panic is a thing. Paint panic took me literally like four days straight of playing it to get it. You need to get an A rank. It goes all the way up to triple A rank. I haven't even done that. I don't count that as 100%. I don't want to count that as 100%. My brain won't be able to handle it. But if you go to Rainbow Run, there's like... You can do them as any character you want, but like... You can see you get s ranked on them. Time trial, you like, you have to do it as fast as you can. Line trial, you have to have a certain amount of ink left over in order to get it. Stuff like that. You can play as every single ball. There are these special courses that are, like, unique to special abilities. I'm not gonna bother showing them off, because whatever. I don't, honestly... I genuinely don't care that much. There's a jump game that you can do whenever you want, which is just this. Oh, hey, I have a higher high score on my Let's Play file than in my main file. Neat. There's not really any point to doing it here, because you don't get any lives or anything. It's just, if you want to do it, you can do it there. Then, in the medal swap, you got all the medals. It's just gonna kind of show me that. I beat the game, guys! But it's gonna, you can see, like, all the everything. You can get different colors of lines you can get. So there's zebra, bead, tropic. There's a life boost. Would have been helpful. You, this is how you get some the extra courses. More life boosts. Uh, this is how you get midnight and DDD. And hidden song, I don't remember. There's a way you can get nightmare and dreamland music to play on stages. Simple stuff like that. But like, look at the look at the, just the main game. Like. Look at the top right. You have to clear it with ev every single level with every single character. All of them. All of them. It's just... This game is Sonic Heroes except worse in a way. Although I guess Sonic Heroes at least... Sonic Heroes you have to do it all in order to just beat the game. This one you, you can beat the game and not care about any of this. Which is why it's weird. Like normally I feel like getting 100% is an important part of the context of a Kirby game that a lot of people tend to neglect, but for this game, this is one of the few Kirby games I would say, never do it. Just don't. It's not worth it at all. It's not an enjoyable experience in any, by any stretch of the imagination at all. It's not fun. I suffered. <laughs> don't do it. Don't get 100%. Anyways. Yes, just look at that playtime. It takes about two hours to beat the game regularly, the way I did. It takes 23 hours to get 100% in it. Oh, that's uh, just... That... That's Kirby Canvas Curse in a nutshell. Anyways, I'm glad I did this game. I'm glad I didn't get 100% in it. I never want to do it again. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this Let's Play. I feel like there were a couple of spots where I got a little bit overly annoyed, but overall it was just, it was enjoyable enough, and if not, seven episodes long, so who cares? So, yep, that's about that. Next time I play a Kirby game, it's gonna be Squeak Squad, so hope you, hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. And until then, I've been Ulti Zeta. Thank you all for watching, but for now, I'm signing out. See you next time.